I'm going to take you through some photographs right now. Let me first of all start with this. Uh, many of you would already be familiar, and I'm sure the photographers out here are already familiar with the world of digital SLRs. Now, what you see here on the on the screen is a panning shot. Uh, this is again an image which has been shot. All the images that I'm going to show you have all been shot by the Nokia 808. Uh, shots like this have never been seen before on a mobile smartphone. Uh, so this is a monster of an innovation. How we got the shot is through a lot of manual settings, which gave a lot of creative, uh, you know, control to the photographer. Uh, so this is a combination of very slow shutter speed and a technique called panning. Now, this is only one of the examples. Let me again take you through another, uh, you know, DSLR, digital SLR uh, property or element called bokeh. Now, for the ones who would already know, bokeh is a function of a shallow depth of field, right? I will not get into the technical uh, jargon uh, at this point of time. What you can see here is a foreground bokeh. What that means is basically that the subject here is the uh, dome of Rashtrapati Bhavan, and in the foreground you can see the halo of flowers all uh, in a bokeh, which is a soft focus and blurred out. If I tap twice on this, I can actually see the cars uh, lining up there, right? And this brings me back to the original image. Uh, that's how wonderful the bokeh is. Let me take you through another beautiful creative photograph with a background bokeh. So here you see the object or the subject is the dewdrop on that branch, uh, which is which is the in the foreground, and the foliage at the background is completely blurred out again by very shallow depth of field. It's possible because of the very very high aperture uh, on this particular device, which is an f2.4, uh, usually found only again on prime lenses of digital SLRs. Having said that, let me quickly now take you through the uh, uh, experience which is the first in the world, uh, brought to you again by Nokia. Uh, the optics and the super sensor that we talked about, uh, the sensor size is 41 megapixel, as you know. Now, for example, beautiful colors, a beautiful sunset. All I have to do is tap twice out here, and I see this shades occupying, you know, uh, the space in the photograph. Tap twice, zoom out. Yeah. Now, in any other photograph, there's a there's a wonderful photograph by itself. But in this photograph, for example, if I want to know what is the brand of the shoes that this guy is wearing, it would not be possible, right, to see it. But with the Nokia POV 808, you can see this very clearly. So you can see that the brand name is Edelrio, and the guy has actually written his name on the shoe. Now, last but not the least, can anyone of you identify what is the brand of the airline that's flying this guy there? Perhaps not. Right? Let me Don't just look at yes. and see if you can see it here. Wow. Oh, that's impatient. Brilliant. Right? So that's the power of lossless zoom brought to you by the oversampling pixel technology. The algorithms that we have written, which is the first in the world, as also the first in the world 41 megapixel uh, sensor in a smartphone. Yeah? So that's the superlative experience of imaging on the 808.